Yo, what's going on YouTube? Bgrim44 back here again today with another banger. I really wanted to come on here today and give you three very simple tips to really absolutely make your recoil a laser beam, to really have just perfect recoil control. And the beauty of what I'm about to tell you is going to transfer not only for Warzone, any first person shooter you play, even Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0 that is coming out, it's Warzone 2.0, there's a lot of recoil on those guns. Those guns really, really had a kick to them. So these tips are gonna help you out. The first big thing are recoil patterns. Now, I don't know what the deal is with this, but people don't seem to realize that these guns in Call of Duty have the same recoil pattern every single time you're shooting these guns. There's no bloom to the gun. It's the same every time. You aim down sights, you don't hold a joystick or you don't move your mouse and you just shoot at a wall. It's gonna be the same pattern every time. You can do a row of it and be the same thing. So being able to memorize these patterns and do them in reverse, what I mean by that is, if you shoot the M4, the M4 has always been up and to the left. So if you move your joystick down and then to the right, your crosshair is not gonna be able to move because everywhere it's trying to move, you're, you're counter reacting. So that's step number one. You gotta learn your recoil patterns. A lot of top tier players just learn them by feel. Me personally, I've been playing the game for so long, I pick up on it pretty quick. But also this leads me to number two, sensitivity. There's a huge thing going on right now with TikTok and I actually like dislike TikTok for this reason. It's sensitivity, it's this whole, you have to have super high sensitivity to make crazy plays, break cameras and to turn on people. But that's just not true at all. I play on a 6.6. I do play on PC, I do have 120 FOV, but even when I was on console with like 80 FOV, I was still running 6.6. Six. I just, it's this, it's like a sweet spot for me. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. Having super crack sensitivity does not make you a better player at all. That is such a myth. And if you look at professional players, whether it's Warzone pros or COD pros, CDL, you'll notice that they typically use a lower sensitivity. The lower sensitivity gives you more precision. If you go to turn on someone and you look past them and you have to go back, that's not faster. You just wasted time because you weren't directly on a target to where if you had a slower sensitivity and you turn on someone and your crosshair stops right on target, you just saved yourself some time. You didn't have to go back. So slower is better. What's the saying? They say uh, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I think that's like a military thing, but I, it applies here. That really is the case. So not only are you memorizing recoil patterns, you're working on your sensitivity. You need to find a sweet spot. If you think maybe your sensitivity is too high, like your, your tracking's really bad, you can't stay on target, your sensitivity is probably too high. You need to adjust some ADS sensitivities, which I have a full breakdown video of controller settings. If you want to check that out, that'll be on the channel. The third and last thing I wanted to talk about today is horizontal movement. A lot of people don't realize it, but me personally, I know a lot of other big players do this as well. I move horizontally whenever I'm shooting someone, whether it's up close, whether it's at range, my, I'm using my left stick instead of just the aim stick. I'm not sitting here doing this to control recoil. I'm doing it somewhat, but I'm also moving this stick left to right. And what that does is if you if you sit here and you move your stick rapidly left to right, you're taking away your horizontal recoil because your operator's moving and it's keeping the crosshair in place. It's almost like a, a camera on a gimbal. You know, you, if you hold a, or a stabilizer, you know, you have a camera on a stabilizer and you move it around, it stays in place. If you're moving your operator around and your gun's going left to right, if you're going opposite, your sight's gonna stay right in place. So work on moving while shooting. It also makes you a harder target to hit, which will end up keeping you alive, helping you get more kills and help you with precision. Get out there, try these three tips. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If they help you out, let me know, because I'm tired of hearing the, oh, you have a Cronus, oh, 120 FOV is the only reason you say all this stuff. I was dropping 30s on an Xbox with an Xbox controller. Not a scuff, nothing crazy, no control freaks. I mean, it's always been like this. These are just things I can tell you to help you out. That's all I know to do. There's no other like special magic trick past this. And the, the honest truth of it is, if you don't got it, you don't got it. Some people just don't have. And that, you know, that's okay too. Look, enjoy the gameplay I'm about to throw in, man. Catch y'all tomorrow for another banger. Let's get it.
Alright, give me some good to eat. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. A little CX9, we get off in the mix. Oh, they're gonna feed through. Feed through, feed through. Come on, boys. I don't want them to split the difference. I'm push. See when I get on the roof of uh, Grandpa's. I just hit him with a rocket, but he didn't die. I don't know how that works. But... Alright, I'm on roof. I'm dead. Full team, or maybe two. Got one with a pistol. Behind, behind, behind. Stick and res. They're low, they're low, they're low. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not used all to All I got's a pistol. I thought they were above us. It's all good, okay. all good. I got a Molotov, dude. This is. This is I don't child. even have a gun for you. I'll, oh, I, I got some. A I got a Carnegie no and MP5. Okay. We're chilling, we're chilling. Perfect. Ooh, I just got sniped at from tower. Or water tower. Deep. I'm gonna start pushing downstairs. Yeah, I'm with it, I'm with it. Downed one. Nice, Sam, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got half a plate, so. Okay. Oh. Hit him with a Molotov, easy pick. Nice, that should buy you time. I'm tucking up back yeah, here. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, take your time. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get ready. Nice play, I'm going up. Dead. Pretty sure this kid was crying. No. Uh -oh. Real tear. Oh. oh. Upstairs, upstairs, was, upstairs. Okay, yeah. Got him. Nice. Dude, the KSB just ripped that guy. Really? They just nerfed yeah. that thing. And everyone's like, why'd they nerf it? I wonder if it's still like broken. I don't know, I hit him with- I hit, it was all headshots, so that's probably I'm why. so ass with the sniper, brother. It. I'm literally the worst sniper in this game. I down one on the other side, let's try I to get a push. I think there's someone below us. Yep. Yeah, he got me. He's cracked, running around, he's bleeding. Alright, I got you, I got you. Ooh. Yeah, watch your back, though. I'm so ass. Nice. Nice. I'm going to Lodi. Oh, there's so many people on Lodi. I'm toast. Dude, I ran out of bullets. That was about to be horrible, brother. I couldn't get to Lodi, by the way. It's not safe. Alright. I'm gonna try soon, though. Trying to get rid of all the rats in here. Downed one, got the other crack. Yeah, no, no, no. Kids on roof, kids on roof. Dude, this kid's about to cry. I just got sniped. I'm so dead, Sam. I sold, I sold. Bad plays on my part. Ah, uh, yeah, I sold. That was stupid. Just 